Well, today we have a job to do. Our Wabasto heater is uh, not working anymore. We think basically it's filled with soot and all that from running it at you know, a low level, a low altitude setting um, at high elevation for too long at uh, too low of a temperature. So we have a replacement burner here and I'm going to be basically switching out the old burner, putting the new one in, um, and hopefully everything works fine. I also got a smart temp version 3 control so we can uh, have things on timers and whatnot. It should be much nicer. But I'm going to get started on that. So with our setup, the way we have to do it, it's all under the passenger seat. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. So I have to get the passenger seat out. It's not a big deal. It's going to take out that bolt. That bolt over there I already removed the uh, the plastic cover. Um, and then we'll have access to the uh, to the device. Alrighty, so there's the chair back. I have access to this. Now we got to get it these bolts off and then, I don't know, somehow detach the intake and exhaust that are on the bottom. I think the fuel line has enough give that we can have that just there. Hey, okay, we got all those nuts off, so this should hopefully come up a little bit. And it's, it's not really. This is because of all the stuff that's attached to the bottom. So I'm gonna have to see how to, what the next thing is we need to loosen. I was able to take the zip ties off of the exhaust, so that loosened that up enough. But this is interesting. This is my air intake, and that was already off. So that had worked its way loose somehow. Okay, so that's all loosened up. Now, got the. this is the power going to the pump and the fuel line. I'm gonna try to see what happens if I just kinda leave these on as I take it apart. See if I can avoid taking them off. Oh, but no, no. No, never mind. That won't be possible. Cause I gotta take. I know I gotta take this plate off. So that means he's gonna come off too. At least this needs to go. This this can't come off, but it can slide. Oh, you can't see what I'm looking at. This guy. There we go. So that's now in place. Hopefully I don't have to take it off the actual thing. I shouldn't. And then this. Um, I gotta get that off. And then the plate off. And then we gotta start taking the plastic off. Okay. Note to self: the one with the curvy kind of top is the front. And that one is the back. Okay, so now I got this all uncased. I gotta get this screwdriver basically wedged into here, whoop, into there, spread it, and then pull up the fan. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So now basically there's gonna be an assortment of random screws. There's other videos on that. Um, I'm just gonna kinda follow that attempt. I, I'm pretty sure I have fittings that can get in here but they're they don't fit on my screwdriver they fit on a drill so i'm going to end up kind of using them and uh, holding them with a wrench in order to rotate them so hopefully i can get down to the burning unit let's see so before that there's apparently the wires that need to be removed so all these here on the side they're all just kind of seated in there you can see i pulled this guy out they some of them need to be pulled out because they they go to the back so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to make sure I got blue and I'm colorblind, but it's that, I guess, dark green and then <laughs> yellow in the back. And then I'm going to try to leave these other guys, these other ones alone, because I don't think they connect to the back. Okay, yeah, so there were some extra wires and whatnot I had to take off. I got the, you know, this whole thing detached and it's separate from wherever the controller thing, here it is. This thing is all, because all the wires had to come out. So anyway, now we're at the interesting bit. I got two screws out already. Um, the video I'm watching says to be very careful about this wire retaining rod and make sure it's positioned right when we put it all back together. So I'm um, just taking one real good look at this before I unscrew those two and then try to lift the whole thing out. This is also my replacement burner, so I got that. You know, ready to go, looking to make sure that all those same wires are there and getting an idea. I do notice that this wire is now coming up and over, which is different than the old one. I guess that one was just pulled really tight, so I'll have to keep an eye on that when I'm reassembling it. But yeah, this one's all nice and shiny and new. And we shall see what the other one looks like. I'm sure it will be very different. Okay, so this is interesting. So I can't get this out because this thing is too long. But I think the key is, if you notice, there's two pieces of metal there that are attached. I'm gonna try to pry those apart, because I think those are two different 
pieces that are kind of screwed. I don't know. Connected? <laughs> um, and then I should be able to get this out. Because this, this tube here is causing the issue. And there we go. We got the old one out. And you can see in there, it is gunky. And beyond that, if you look in here, if I can get some light, you'll notice there's a nice big thing of gunk. Let me get the flash on so you can see easier. There you can see that. And then I'm going to pull this thing out somehow it's moving before there we go and let's see what's behind door number two look at all that nasty that is not supposed to be in there caked on so, we clearly have a soot problem, <laughs> and this is why it was not working. Okay, I've gotten this cleaned up as much as I can. I don't have access right now to any, like, denatured alcohol or anything, so I can't make it look all nice and shiny. But I think this is all heat exchange stuff, so I mean, you can tell the, the exhaust is right there. And then I've cleaned up all these fins so that the soot... You know, there's no big clumps. It's just a, a patina, if you will. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's it should be fine, I think. So far, um, this took me, I think, two to three hours to do the disassembly and clean up. Um, now I just got to reassemble it all, and then I'm hoping that everything will work fine and be great. And I, I'm... I'm I'm also hoping, but I don't. I don't know for certain that my my cleaning job is sufficient. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but we, yeah, we won't we won't know right away. But it will over time. We will. But yeah, let's get this back together. This is a nice new set of uh, um, whatever you call these guys. But <clears throat> gonna be installing these because the manufacturer does say that you need to put fresh new ones in there when you're. Uh, reassembling it probably because the other ones are they're not going to seal as quite as well and then you might get gas leakage so let's get that in there which way does this one go okay so I got the the body reassembled it's all in there it's got the cover on here but um, I thought I'd mention the smart temp so this is going to vary greatly depending on the harness you have and all that but the particular one I had um, there was this white doohickey which had on it this kind of end piece. So I separated that off of there and I put, you know, attached the other white piece to that and then attached this to here, which previously, this is like a block. Well, I can't get it off of one hand, but basically it's a square attachment that wasn't attached to anything. It was just floating free. So now the only floating free one I have is this, which is what you use for the Rio stat to change the altimeter setting. So right now I actually have the Rio stat and the smart temp attached at the same time. I don't actually literally have it attached to yourself, but you know, I'll plug that in. Um, I'm pretty sure what this white guy is, is a um, temperature sensor, I think, which makes me think that the Smart Temp 3 probably has a temperature sensor in it, which is wonderful because then the temperature sensor would be on the living side of we have like a curtain that separates this area. So that'll hopefully help with, you know, it getting too hot in the middle of the night. But yeah, I'm just going to keep on plugging along at this reattached to that hosing and that's just going to be a struggle. Um, and once that's done, I will test it out see how it goes. Okay, well, it is on, well, or it was on, it might still be on, hot air is coming out, the pitch of the fan is changing, which is the problem we were having before, so I don't know if it's still lit, but I definitely heard it light, it still feels hot. So clearly, we're not fully installed yet, things are not fully attached yet. 
So this is, I'm um, leaving the door open to make sure any fumes don't stick around. But right now it's still hot. And this is also isn't where it normally is. Oh, there's, that's warm coming out of there. So we might be in business. And there it goes. Got everything reassembled. It's pumping out some heat. Just starting up right now, but we, we tried it earlier and it worked there too. We're playing with this Smart Temp 3. Um, it's got the uh, the Bluetooth, so you can put an app on your phone and control it through that. And I like that. That's nice. The uh, there's a couple of downsides to it. It, it, it. What I really want is something where I can set a temperature and have it always on high heat whenever it's on and try to basically stay within a range, a temperature range, but there's no way f for us to control that. I think it, it just kind of picks whether or not it's low, medium, high, or somewhere in between. So what I'm trying is cranking the temperature up as high as it can go and asking it to run for an hour. And then I'll set a timer for it to run uh, or a scheduled time for it to run at some point in the night for an hour and hopefully that will keep it pretty reasonable in here um, we shall see uh, if it doesn't work out then you know I, I could, I'll have my phone next to me I can I can hit a button and turn it back on and it won't be an issue so so far so good and we'll see if it lasts uh, I expect it will um, especially because we're gonna be at low elevation for a while so uh, yeah, should be good.